From 13 ABC, Conklin and Company, with 13 ABC Action News anchor Lee Conklin. First, with what's happening behind the headlines. And take three, our panel of political analysts. Morning, everybody. Welcome into another edition of Conklin and Company. Coming up today on the program, a new board chair at the BOE. Also, an urgent call from the American Red Cross. Also, the Southwick plan today, cleaning up economic development and her first seven months in office. So much to get to today. So we ask Councilwoman at Large uh, in Toledo, Sandy Spang, seven months in. How's it going? Oh, it's great. Great. Yes. Sunshine and lollipops. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right. I am enjoying this experience. Um, of course, there are challenges. There's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. And um, I've had the opportunity to take so many meetings with people that are um, involved in the nonprofit, the private sector, governmental, and I've learned so much in these first months. Okay. Let's get people knowing you. Obviously, you, you won your election as an independent. You had support from some Republicans. Maybe that helped. Mm -hmm. But you say you're truly, uh, in every sense of the word, you are an independent. Explain about that. Well, I think that, um, you know, a lot of young people aren't joining political parties right. these days. They don't find a particular party that really that they fit into. And I would say that um, I'm definitely, especially with my business background, I'm fiscally conservative, but um, I also am deeply concerned about our neighborhoods. And so um, I think that at the local level, I, I don't think that party is, is really of as much value, perhaps, at the state and the federal level. As it used to be. And I really want... You know, I really want to be um, someone that helps with uh, increasing collaboration in the city, a facilitator maybe. And so I think that without the added, uh, you know, without the addition of a party uh, label, I think maybe I'm a little more effective that way. Okay. Let's talk yeah. about the business aspect. You mentioned uh, business. You came, you came from your business not too many yes. minutes ago. Yes. And you said... <laughs> You had to, not only handling the administrative end of the business, you got you had to go back to the kitchen too, right? Sure. I had a I had an employee off sick, so uh, for about an hour and a half, I was the cook today. Mm. And you know, I do think that I have the perfect other job to go with my council responsibilities because it's very flexible. Okay, this is plate twenty one. We can yes. mention the business. Yes, my coffee okay. house over on Rugby Drive, yes. in South yes. Polito. I have wonderful employees, so I'm able to uh, to leave the uh, the coffee house in their hands. Um, my husband and I also have commercial and residential rental properties, mm -hmm. so I think all of those broad experiences. I think I bring those to council, and I think they're a plus. All right. So the business aspect, you have that background, uh, also a mother, um, and 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 also a member of Mayor Bell's committee on blight uh, blight removal. Uh, not too long ago, correct? Yes. Like many citizens, I uh, got involved with the Future of Toledo uh -huh. program, and the area that I was interested at that time was uh, blight and repurposing property. Okay, so what do you make of all this now with Mayor Collins in place? Uh, the blight does this story on, on the blight, and really not a big surprise that we have right. areas that really need addressing in this city. Absolutely. Uh, and now, uh, and, and Mayor Collins ran on a platform, I'm going to clean up some of this called the Tidy Towns, right? right? Uh, and the first initiative takes place in East Toledo uh, this past week. Mm -hmm. What do you make of this initiative, Sandy Spang? Well, I think that I'm sensing from the calls that I get and from the, uh, the emails that, that people are addressing me in a very positive way with their concerns. I wouldn't call them so much complaints as concerns. I think there's a real sense on the part of citizens that we want to collaboratively clean up our city. But I also think that we have a lot of infrastructure challenges and blight can take many forms. The area that I'm particularly interested in is are, are the empty retail and small manufacturing spaces all throughout our city. And I've uh, been advocating for a code upgrade program, often a real obstacle to, uh, to repurposing properties for a, a property owner to work with an entrepreneur is that when you have a change of use, you have to bring that property up to new building standards according to Ohio Code. And so in the past we've had facade grants, I'm advocating for a code upgrade grant, which I think would then bring up the quality of our retail and small manufacturing spaces in Toledo. And whether the initial business that goes in makes it or not, 
we've brought that property up to a rentable, usable level. Okay. So, been working Take us on that. Take the step then. Code update grant. We we showed video of of city employees and perhaps some neighbors working on the east side too. Right. So this is apples and oranges here. Right. And this leads me to think about Southwick. Uh, and, and, and we'll talk more in Take 3 about this plan to right. purchase that property. So take us through this code upgrade in your perfect world. What would it be? Well, in, in my perfect world, this would be much like the facade grants we've had in the past, but the entrepreneur would approach the, uh, the property owner and say, you know, I'm interested in renting your property and I bring with me this, uh, this grant money. And it could be in the in the in the form of a low interest loan, or it could be a matching grant, as like the facade grants been. But it would incentivize, you know, just like Southwick. We often talk about the fact that Southwick was not aggressively marketed. Sometimes it's easier just to write a property off on your taxes than actually engage with a buyer or an entrepreneur. I want to provide that incentive to move them off the dime and have them work with those entrepreneurs. Uh, and there's a great entrepreneurial spirit right now. There are so many young people in Toledo who are not stuck here. They're here by choice, and they're very pro Toledo. And there's some real synergy downtown. There taking is place right now. There is. Uh, so we have that the Southwick plan. What's your overall impression of it? Uh, nothing to lose. Oh, absolutely. Sure, the city here. It, it's it was a bold and aggressive move, um, but uh, we need, of course, we needed to get some traction. One of the things that I feel very positive about is people are starting to once again see that as a very prime piece of, piece of property. All of the things that uh, made the developers of Southwick say this is a great property. It's close to the Turnpike, the Expressway, great density around that of rooftops. Um, those those things are still very much true about that space. And so I'm very happy. The infrastructure is fantastic around there. It's all been all the infrastructure is in excellent condition. The ring around yeah. the property, the as well as the Reynolds businesses Road. around. You go absolutely. In, uh, I think of Cheyenne and Southwick Boulevard. Absolutely uh, in good shape. So it's you know this is um, this is not unusual in commercial real estate to have a due diligence period. Um, and so I think that at this point, I don't feel a great sense of risk because if we don't find an end user. We don't acquire the property. What have you learned? Uh, what's what have you learned, and what has troubled you in the first seven months? Uh, let's first the the thing that you didn't see coming, that you know now about being on council, and and maybe the biggest challenge that you're facing now. Well, I I think I had a pretty clear vision. I had attended council meetings for a long time. You may recall I was nominated for the position yeah. that was um, vacated. Did not um, get it at that particular right, time. Right, right. And um, so I think for the most part, my expectations have been accurate. Um, I, I'm really trying to work towards a greater sense of collaboration, communication. Um, you know, that if there was any frustration, it was, it was sort of being involved in conversations. But I feel like that's growing. Uh, we're a large council, 12 people. Collaboration to, with other members or with the administration? I mean, everyone. What yeah, do you mean? I, I, absolutely. I think that. Um, isn't there an old saying that you can get a lot done if you don't care who gets the credit? Mm. And so I think that it's important. Do, do others care who, get the, who gets the credit? Well, I can't speak for others. Mm, okay. But I can say that um, I, I think that uh, a win for Toledo is a win for Toledo mm. citizens. And that's who I serve as Toledo citizens. So I want to see us have, um, I want to see us move forward in a positive way and I want to try to be a catalyst for that. Um, there are, there have been a lot of wonderful surprises. I, I have not found a problem in Toledo that there is not someone who is actively trying to solve it. And maybe they need some more support or some more collaboration, but uh, there are some wonderful things happening. And I'm sure you see that as you are out in the community. And I must say that one of the parts of uh, this job that I really like is that I get out to groundbreakings and, um, you know, uh, philanthropic events and just so many wonderful events in the city of Toledo and see the work that people are doing. So that part's wonderful. And then go make sandwiches at the restaurant. Absolutely, too, right? rush Somebody back. Somebody comes through that door, <laughs> right? Or, or I get a text, they're out of something. and So I'm definitely switching hats a lot, but um, I do think that uh, that I have the right, you know, the right mix in my life to be able to do those things and meet my commitments to All council. Right. Seven months in, just getting started. Absolutely, okay. a lot so of work much. Still yes. yet to go. Great to, to see you and, and talk with you, and uh, we'll have you back, of course, on Conklin. Thanks Conklin. so Sandy much, Sandy Spang, uh, councilwoman at large, city of Toledo. We'll Thank see you, you down the road, and we'll be back on Conklin and Company talking about the urgent call from the American Red Cross right after this.